here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after... You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Our mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom? Why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And... Sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you, in here, always here. Mom? <laughs> always. She loved us, a lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I mean... Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered everyone? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so... Yes. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Uh, so we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? Are you serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. 
Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses. And they do infrared, so I see everything. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Yes, I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that Clinket-style salmon with pepper and saffron. Pff, no, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Where are you going? Lewis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while his face pops. Ben. Short and simple. I like it. Come on. There's only a handful left. Allison, you coming? Not this one. No dice. Look, there's Michael. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. worth I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. Well, only a few steps in and I'm... Yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. To 
totally gone. At least this time no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. Hi. I hope we're not intruding. Hi. I hope we're not intruding. Not at all. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Becky store. Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um... It starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. I... I hope this isn't rude, but... Where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... That's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mom has been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but... You have any thoughts? Sorry, but I am so not capable of making that call. Yeah, sorry. It was a strange question. <laughs> it sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. Hmm. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. I hope I'll see you around. them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but 
I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. No way. Our box is still here? We did cover it in like a hundred layers of glue. This spot's familiar. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found her. Ty. No dice. Not hers. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away! I couldn't let her drag you down with her! She had you stealing for God's sake! Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she'd just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry. 
kids. You were worried. And you did what you thought you had to. Get it? We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Thank you. I... I... No. I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're going to be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are going to be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. You want to sit down for a bit? Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, alright? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, 
and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So, I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Are you all right? Uh, that was not barn. Stay there. I got it. A, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Huh. At least you were spared. I might have found something. Asshole even dumped the drawers. This guy went on a tear. Did he really have to smash everything? He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. <sighs> Great. More to clean. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. 
I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These... Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? <laughs> is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he- He went looking under the rug? He used this to start the fire. None of the valuable stuff's missing. I guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. <laughs> well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of car three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Hey, doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? That did it. Push Mary in. guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. At least he left us the junker. I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? Out of all the ways he could have said hello. This is where I tripped. The Mad Hunter! Wait, 
There was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. No. That... That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night... I... Thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods. But I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah. Unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before. Wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on. Do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock. About us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. After what I did for you? You're really gonna say no to this? Well, no, but... I just can't keep doing this. Every time we think we understand, something new pops up. This might be our only shot to figure out who our father is. Who gives a shit about that asshole? I have a father, and I almost lost him because you won't stop. Don't blame me because Chief Brown fucked Marianne over. We need to know the truth. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Do it. Let's go. that would happen. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? 
I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go.